we've been in the car for an hour and a half, would you say? Yeah, half eight. Um, only been asked about five times, are we there yet? It's taken too long. Um, and we've now resorted to Bob the Builder music. Are we happy? You happy, Henry? Why aren't you happy, Henry? Because it's so long. It's taken too long. You happy, Jake? And look, we've, we've stowed away a chicken in the car. Oh, you're dancing, Jake. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Are you a chicken? Yeah, and Lily, you look miserable. No, I'm happy. Uh, why are you happy? Where are we going? Ten of me. Yay! <laughs> Still got half an hour to go. Keep smiling, Lou. Keep smiling. <laughs> hour and a half of travelling in the car, and we have just arrived at the airport. And uh, I've just realised how much luggage we've actually brought with us. It's quite a lot. And now we've got to wait like three hours until we actually board. So excuse the state of me. I have had a shower because I was sticky from the longest day and flight. Um, I'm just gonna cover my eyes. Um, it is half past 10. We've been in the hotel for a couple of hours. Um, it's just been the longest day. Um, flying with a child with autism is horrendously hard he wasn't naughty in, in any way um, and neither was Lily but um, it, it's quite heartbreaking to see how much they struggle you can see their hands going over their ears and <laughs> hang on I'm just doing my video diary <laughs> while I walk around me and Lewis has just come out of the shower Who's, who's also, who's also um, a bit stressed, so is being ridiculous right now, so is just cooled down as well. Um, yeah, as I was saying, it is heartbreaking to see a child with um, difficulties struggling um, with the noises and the lights and an airport's probably the worst place for a child with autism to be, so I'm really, really proud of how they handled it. Um, I think it's the parents that actually need, what's the word I'm thinking of, that need um, prepping for an airport journey with an autistic child. So, so I think in light of that, that may be something I may think about writing about and bringing up. Um, so all in all, flying with kids with autism is about how you prep yourself to deal with, how to de-stress yourself, and preparation, preparation, preparation. And you know what? You can prepare for all of it, but flying with a two-year-old is literally another story. <laughs> he is a lush little boy, and he's not even like been naughty, he's just two and he runs around like a lunatic and it's just been quite tough. Um, but we're here and the hotel is beautiful and we will have an amazing day tomorrow and we've got seven days now because it's a day just written off with traveling and we can enjoy it tomorrow. So yeah, tomorrow's another day. What? Henry, we are having breakfast in the restaurant. Hello. Aren't we? Come here, look, come and look at this view. Um, we've actually had a really good sleep, all of us, which was really nice. Um, the boys didn't wake up till about quarter past six and they were snuggling each other in bed, which was really lovely. Sort of put everything in perspective. Jake, Jake, that's Henry. Right, Jake, you go find, Henry, you go find something else to play with just for a minute. Right. Um... Yeah, I was just about to say that it put everything in perspective um, and it was really lovely um, seeing them so happy and it's why we've done it, so they could have time together as a family. Why we thought we would be here to relax, I don't know, I'm not too sure that's going to happen. Um, but yeah, so the other thing that happened this morning, I've unpacked the case and it would appear that someone... Um, 
put euros in the main suitcase and they've obviously been stolen because the lovely Thompson wallet is empty. Um, thankfully, we chose not to draw all our spending money out. Um, we just drew enough out for our trip to the Sea Life Park. So that's now going on the credit card. Um, so, not going to let it ruin the trip. We are going to be in a good frame of mind. We are, Lewis has just gone down to reception to pay for a safe. Never holidayed with kids before abroad, so these are all things that I'm learning. So don't put euros in your main case, they will get stolen. And, um, <laughs> don't fly with two year olds. Um, and yeah, use the safe, I think that's the best thing to do. So anyway, I have no foundation on. Today I'm braving it, which is why my eyes look like this. Henry is ready to scuba dive for the holiday. Jake is all happy. No, he's not. <laughs> he is, honestly, he is. And um, yeah, we're all good, aren't we, Henry? We're going to have a happy day, yeah? Yeah. We've just had breakfast at the um, like basic buffet. Um, overwhelmed by the choice that was there. There's fresh fruit and fry ups and cheese, meats, pates, literally everything. Henry's over the moon because there's pancakes. Um, there's something quite special about um, Henry when he finds a food that he loves. Um, it's lovely, his eyes light up. So he's um, ate this pancake with Nutella um, very happily. Jake ate uh, a mini sausage and a bowl of Cocoa Pops. We stupidly put him in a white striped t-shirt, which is now stained. Um, and let's face it, I won't wash it for another week, so we'll probably stay stained with Cocoa Pops. So uh, lesson learned, we may think about a bib tomorrow. Um, so yeah, breakfast was lovely, kids were all happy, lovely cappuccino. Um, we just come back to the room to pack the bags for the pool because we are going to spend the day in the resort. And then we are... Oh, and before that, we're going to go for a meeting and go and see what Thomas Cook Thompson have to offer us. I've just realised I might actually look like a rep myself in this blue top. Um, I'll just show you. Henry is next door at the moment with his sisters. He's decided to sleep there. I do. And we have... And uh, Jake and Lewis having a look at this beautiful view. It's pretty stunning. Wow! And as long as as long as this little man's got Jake, attention, look Jake, look. he's look. quite happy. Look. Uh, Jake. It's Kate. Jake. Say cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Frozen. Pretty nice day. So all good. Good morning. He really has been outside today, but I just want to highlight the importance of the iPad. Um, yeah, also got the TV going at the same time. He's been really good today. You've done some amazing swimming today, haven't you, Henry? Oh, yeah. Mummy's really proud of you. I'm really proud of you. We're going to go get some more money. We're going to go get some more money. Why is that? Oh, on your game. All oh, right. Um, yeah. So we are. We've been at the pool for about seven and a half hours today. We've literally just stayed in the pool, and we went to the snack bar for lunch, which was really nice. Um, and they've all been really good today. So. We decided to come back and let them have some iPad wind down time. The girls are next door in their own room, um, which is just to the right round, um, literally next door. And they are on their balcony reading a book, so they're getting quiet time, which is really nice. Oh, um, I'll just show you the uh, amazingness that is this bedroom. This should have been mine and Lewis's room, um, but we decided to give the boys some comfort because. Because we, because we care. And we put a mattress down there in case Jake falls out of bed. 
And this is um, <laughs> Lady Antoinette. <laughs> I'm uh, videoing. Are you? Yeah. Watch fingers. Watch fingers. And Jake in his massive bubble bath. Hi, Jake. Jake, under the bath. Let's pull the plug out. Hello. This daddy looks amazing. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Jake. This is just the reality, isn't it? I went away with my mum, and our apartment was pretty spotless. Go away with kids, and uh, who cares? We're on holiday. Look at this view in the, in the day. Look at this. morning we are on our second full day of holiday and the boys woke up at what time do you wake up jake um me jake say five <laughs> five well <laughs> he woke up at seven but they both woke up in the night because they fell out of bed bed fell out of bed so lewis and i spent the night getting up out of the bed to pick them back up again Jake had a mattress on the floor, so he was perfectly safe. Henry just fell on the concrete. Um, you're all right, aren't you, Henry? Yeah. We're going to go speak to it's the fine. Today, Yeah, we're going to go see if we can get some sort of bed guard, um, if not another mattress to go on the floor. Henry likes to lay that way on a bed, and at home, at home he's got like a guard on the side, so it's not really an issue. Um, last night, what did we do last night, Henry? What did we do last night? So, we did party. But we did nothing at the party. We did nothing at the party. Um, parties are parties. <laughs> It's not a birthday party. We did have, there was cake at the restaurant. You could have had cake at the restaurant and then party and then dance at the party, but you didn't want to dance. Um, Literal. Literal to party. Where's the party bags? Where's the toys? Where's the... Where's the bouncy castles? Well, there was a bouncy castle but not at the party. Um, that he went on, which was great, which was included in the whole all-inclusive package, which I thought was really good as well. Um because a lot of it you have to sort of pay extra for, which I didn't mind last night, actually. It was five euros for the boys to go on like, um, these trampolines. And then the girls paid for themselves to go on the bungee jumping trampolines, which they absolutely loved, especially Emma. She's really good on them. Um, I think Lily just needs a bit more confidence. Um, yeah, we managed to stay out till half nine, quarter to ten would you say, which was quite impressive, I think, with with the kids. A um, bit of a nightmare getting to, to sleep last night. Um, overtired, completely overtired, and a little bit with Lily as well. Um, Jake was surprisingly okay, wasn't he? Um, light, he led in his buggy about nine o'clock and, and asked me for his dummy. He was that tired. Um, so yes, that was really nice. And Lewis and I got to, sorry, just open the door so I can see you, show you this view. Lewis and I got to have yet another beer on the balcony. Best thing about this hotel, we've got a little fridge under the kettle and they replace Heineken every day. Best room service ever. So check, check this out. What time is it? Is it? No, nope. I think it's actually about eight o'clock. <laughs> it's a bit strange here in the Canary Islands because um, the sun doesn't come out till a lot later. Um, so when you wake up at seven, like in 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 England, it would be sunny. Like it's six o'clock, it'd be sunny. So it's like eight o'clock here, and it's still quite dark. They're still asleep. They're still asleep, baby. To be fair, he was really good yesterday, swimming. He was um, 
he was really good going out for dinner. Him and Jake played really well. Um, but there's been a couple of autistic moments. Um, such as, like, right now he woke up in a mood this morning. Because um, his sisters aren't here. And it's it's not home. So it's, 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 it's different. So he's struggling a bit with that. Um, his iPad isn't connected to Wi-Fi and he's not able to go on YouTube, which is which sucks. I downloaded some movies on it, um, but it's just not the same thing. Um, it's fine on the airplane, but he's, he's really missing um, YouTube, so I may go down to reception today and see what I can do. Um, yeah, I think... The only thing that um, I found difficult with Henry yesterday, and it was the only thing, to be fair, everything else was, was fine and handable, was, uh, I've lost my train of thought. I was about to say the, the difficult thing with Henry yesterday, the thing that we found most difficult, and I've lost my train of thought. Well, sister probably No, 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 it wasn't no. that. I know what I was going to say. Okay. Watching the kids play in the pool and there's obviously a lot of children Henry's age who are splashing and playing with each other, um, interacting, socialising, being just generally quite cute. Um, and Henry, in my eyes, is has been quite funny. Um, he hasn't taken his snorkel mask off. Um, I think he's been really funny, uh, but yeah, it's nobody, nobody sort of smiles at Henry when he's around them. If he's in the pool splashing, he, I'll try and video it today, but it's quite bizarre the way he moves around in the pool, um, and he makes like a high-pitched squeal. If he thinks your body's going away from him, he genuinely, generally freaks out, doesn't he? It's like a fear, um, and you get a few sort of stares um, which doesn't bother me I just found it difficult yesterday because obviously we've got Jake with us who is you know he can be a pickle he's been a pickle but he's quite adorable and people comment constantly about how um, adorable he is and I think that's the thing about autism you people unless you know Henry really really well you can't see that you don't see that so we're praising Henry like so so happy yesterday weren't we Lou that he put his head underwater and people couldn't really um get that whereas if that was a neurological neurologically typically developing child um <clears throat> and they'd swam for the first time across the pool you know it would have been a big deal but for us that was a big deal um, yeah. Well, it's conquering new fears every day, isn't it? Yeah. He is conquering new fears every day, and it is it is a big deal. And I think um, me and Lewis, as parents of four, we've never sort of done it for this long before together. Um, so we're actually learning quite a lot, aren't we? Really, we're learning um, what to do, what not to do. I'm learning a lot. I'm learning how to chill out a bit. Lewis is learning how to chill out a bit. Um, I don't know how to parent a typical two-year-old. I never have done. Not a boy. Um, so that's new to me. And I think Lewis is learning, Still learning quite a lot as well. Thing. Yeah. So it's um, it's good. It's good. It's, I think it's going to be really good for us. But we've got to stay in a very positive, happy frame of mind. Um, and realistic as well. So. Being realistic, today we're going to try and walk down to the beach and explore our surroundings because we've not actually left the resort. Um, so realistically, Henry is probably going to go, I don't want you, because it's new. So um, like any um, respectable parents, we're going to bribe him. So mm -hmm. we'll probably um, end up buying him some sort of sugary ice cream or <coughs> um, crap like that. Um, and then... We will probably come back and just go by the pool again, I should imagine, and then 
the girls we're hoping to get them off to holiday club later um, and tomorrow I think we're going to go to this Sea World park which would be lovely I think that'd be really good so yeah all in all uh, lessons learnt be patient um, be realistic <laughs> Just enjoy them. As they're all different, just enjoy them. Jake, say away. goodbye. Jake, say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Yeah, good boy. Mm -hmm. Thumbs up, have a good holiday. Yeah. Oh, this is so funny. Oh, good boy, Emma's got a giant donut and he's got a unicorn. Why do you have to be a Emma's Day's been made because she got a fake Michael Kors handbag with a free purse. And Lily has a oh, giant unicorn. And Jake apparently has the noisiest toy in the shop. Did you know that, Daddy? No, I didn't realise he'd done that, yeah. Oh, right. <laughs> let's go to the beach. Go on, let's uh, go and on. Henry's also had his toy. So I have just had to delete a thousand photos. Um, well, from my phone. We'll move them across to iCloud storage. Um, so we had such an amazing day yesterday and I took a lot of photographs. Um, so yesterday we went to Loro Park, um, which I think was voted like the second best attraction in the world to go to. Um, unfortunately the dolphins were closed down, which um, was a bit disappointing. Um, but it didn't matter because Obviously, you can go to lots of different places in the world to see dolphins swim. Um, and I think I'd prefer to, to actually swim with dolphins rather than watch a show. Um, so we got to see the killer whales, the orca whales, which was amazing. Tears in my, um, in my eyes watching it. It was pretty um, overwhelming. Um, part of me sort of wishes that they were in the ocean, but actually, you know, free in the ocean, but actually... They do some pretty amazing things at this place um, and save a lot of animals from extinction and their surroundings are, are pretty amazing. Um, and you try not to think about that, as awful as that sounds. So it was pretty amazing. The kids loved it. The sea lion show was amazing. Very, very funny. Very, very clever animals. Um, just loads of beautiful animals in like a jungle setting. So that was a full day. Um, quite hard work the journey with Henry because it was an hour and a half there and an hour and a half back so there was a lot of are we there yeah I don't want to travel anymore so that was quite difficult so when we got back yesterday we decided to give him the iPad which he hasn't had the whole time he's been here and he had an hour on the iPad which was really good for him and then we decided to bribe him and took him to the shop in the hotel and let him pick a toy at five euros for this, they sell like, what would you call them, Lewis? Like Duplo Lego. They're quite big, aren't they? Yeah, he calls them big minifigures. Yeah, so Henry loves <laughs> the Lego minifigures and these are like this big. They're about five euros, but they come with guns and hats and he loves them. So he got one of those and um, sat beautifully playing with it. And then we went to the disco last night and he partied. He actually just randomly got on the dance floor and danced and loved it. And we could have stayed there longer, but Jake did his fourth or fifth poo of the day. Huh? Fifth poo of the day. Um, so he's not allowed orange juice anymore because we're pretty sure that that's what's doing it. And also giving him a little bit of a sore bum. So um, we've banned that. So it's just water now. Um, and maybe the old slushy. So yeah, yesterday was amazing and the day before that we walked down to the beach, the Black Sand Tenerife Beach, which we won't be doing again. Um, I know for a lot of people going on holiday means exploring your surroundings and um, just soaking in culture and learning where you are. Um, yeah, it's not for us. I think if, if we just took the girls we probably would. If it was just me and Lewis, we certainly would. But you know what? We've paid a lot of money to stay in this holiday village and everything's here. It's, it's, it's worth getting your money's worth and staying here. Uh, it was quite stressful. Sand gets everywhere. It was on at the top, bottom of a hill. Um, and Lewis very kindly put both the boys in one buggy going back up, which is why his back was in pain yesterday. Um, mm -hmm. 
so yeah, so today we are not leaving the hotel, which is fine. <laughs> So the girls are down there now having a quiet hour. We are in no rush because they are reading books in peace. Um, and it's part of the reason why we're here so that they can actually have a break. Henry is on his DS. There's Lewis. You can hear Jake clackering in the background with presumably cars yeah. or knives. Any knives here? It's just cars. It's fine. Um, yeah, so it's all good, all good, all very happy. Um, and M Lewis presented me with a necklace last night that he bought me um, in the gift shop, which is really pretty. Um, but I've taken it off now because I don't want to get chlorine on it. Um, and one last thing, just to point out, um, there are a lot of normal families here. Dad bods, kids with chocolate around their face. Um kids with yesterday's clothes on, mums with mum tums, some parents yelling at their kids to behave, things like that, like normal, that just make you think, well, we're a norm normal family too. Um, and then there are the unreachables, which I'm now calling them. Um, the dads with the immaculate hair that's blatantly been hair sprayed before they came out, and their immaculate bodies. Um, but not actually interacting very much with their children. Like, like mine, yeah? Just like yours. <laughs> but I just said not actually interacting with their children at all. Um, Hello, and drinking water, no beer. And then the mums who have blatantly straightened their hair and then put it in, an, in a messy bun so it looks like they've just got out of bed like that, but they blatantly haven't. Um, I love people watching. So I've been watching those mums not play with their kids and not jump in the pool and make a splash. Um, so yeah, it's it's... It's interesting to see those mums who, like me, don't really care. Just chuck some clothes on and enjoy the kids. Anyway, and Lewis doesn't care either because we're, we're happy happy, and normal. Ah. And do you know what? That's okay. <laughs> um, yes, so off we go. We're going to the pool and hoping for a good day. But we are today, we're going to take the DS with us so that Henry can have a little bit of a rest under the umbrella um, as well. So, over and out. Yeah. So we came back to the room about half past five today. Um, so that was a good seven hours by the pool again. Um, it's ideal. We had the umbrella there, so the boys, we sort of timed how long they had in the sun and out of the sun. We took a load of toys, so they, um, played in the shade quite a bit but they were in the pool for so long they absolutely loved it and the girls were able to just do their own thing I think if anyone has older children and um, younger children um, an all-inclusive holiday or a hotel with everything in it is definitely the way to go um, but I don't think you necessarily need all-inclusive to be honest because the kids club that were included in the prize we haven't actually used so I don't necessarily think it's worth it we are now watching in the night garden, a bit of calm down time. Um, boys are quite happy. Uh, meanwhile, the girls have run themselves above a bath in their giant bath and they're having their own little private spa because they're not old enough for the one here, which is quite sweet, really. Um, and they've just spoken to Grandad on the phone. They spoke to Nanny yesterday, so they're all happy. Jake, say hello. Jake's walking around a bit of the strop. I'm not entirely sure why. Um, two year olds get have proper strops, like Are you playing inside worse than autism sometimes. Um, yeah, autism can be a bit um, unpredictable, but when you when you when you get it, it makes sense. I don't know if that makes sense. With a two year old, like literally, they will have a tantrum. Um, because the towel touched their foot. That's quite similar to autism, thinking about it. Um, yeah, one to think about. Anyway, we are off for dinner. I'm gonna go and um, pretend that the kids are gonna be perfect tonight and just go in a very happy frame of mind. I'm sure they'll be fine. It's good. So it's half 10 on our last day of holiday. 
um, we got back about 10 minutes ago. A lot of families tend to stay up and play bingo and stay for the live entertainment at 10. But our kids just get too tired, don't want to do it. Um, even Emma, to be fair. Um, we let her have a cocktail tonight. In your, hang on, in your bag. Oh. Um, we let her have a cocktail tonight, so she was quite tired after that. It's literally that much alcohol in it. It's like a slush puppy. Um, yeah, so today's been um, lovely, actually, but really, really knackering. Lewis did his back in. So I've been in charge pretty much of Jake and Henry and Emma and Lily. Emma and Lily have been calling me every 10 minutes to watch them jump in the pool or their synchronised swimming, which FYI is not synchronised at all. Um, Jake has been um, a pickle, should we say, politely. Um, and something that he's eating here, I don't know if it's the water or chocolate or the sweets or the slush puppies but he is literally grabbing constantly so I am changing nappy after nappy after nappy um so anyway I took the boys and Emma and Lily to lunch today on my own and Lewis led on the sunbed I ran back and gave him his lunch and then ran back and fed the boys um actually it was quite nice to spend quality time Really, really enjoyed it. Um, but it's not great because, as I say, Jake's quite hard work, he runs off constantly. So, tonight, um, dancing around at the disco, there's like a small disco area here. Excuse my nail varnish, let's stay a bit. Small disco area here, and uh, we're sat here, and Jake runs all the way back here. Um, so, we're spending the whole night. Grabbing him, bringing him back, grabbing him, bringing him back. Um, yeah, quite hard work. Tr basically trying to stop him from jumping off the balcony and killing himself because he's just got no sense of. Uh, actually, he has got sense of danger. He just um, doesn't like being told what to do. Anyway, um, my lovely necklace Lewis brought me for my earrings. He presented me on the balcony um, yesterday. So. Yeah, tonight's been lovely. We had a really nice meal. Last night we went to an Italian restaurant, which is a la carte, and the hotel let you book into it once during your stay. It was really nice. Um, but to be honest with you, you wouldn't think it in an all inclusive, but the buffet, like the, the standard buffet, is probably better. Really, really impressed with it. Tonight was like um, oriental themed. And we had like um, raw salmon and raw tuna and sushi and wasabi. Not everyone's a cup of tea, but totally perfect for me. Um, and Lewis had like your traditional Chinese sweet and sour and stuff like that. He absolutely loved it. Um, and the girls loved it. And the boys had the usual puddings, ice cream, cake, whatnot. So, yeah, all in all, amazing holiday definitely do uh, a holiday village again not necessarily in Tenerife purely because the beach is at the bottom of the hill and with a buggy two buggies it's quite hard work um, and the black sand is very very hot on your feet which is fine as an adult but for kids not so fun and actually we're not beach lovers I've learned um, England it's okay but for some reason it's been quite stressful here. So, um, yeah, Holiday Village, yes. Tenerife, yes. Not sure I'd come back here in Tenerife, necessarily. Um, because it is a lot of money, a lot of money. And I think I'd like to experience another country, preferably one where I could walk to the beach that's like next door. Um, but the weather's lush, and that's the amazing thing about Tenerife. It's been lush every day. It's not rained. I think it was a bit windy yesterday, but even then it was still 27 degrees. Like, if that's perfect, that's what you want for kids. Um, so, yeah, feeling very happy, very loved up, and very, very grateful for my lovely family. And if we can't afford to do this again, that's okay, because 
made some amazing memories here and uh, yeah it's really nice and we will remember it forever it's been amazing so um yeah great holiday really successful really really proud of Henry um autism couldn't kiss my backside because we've beaten it this holiday um autism has been our friend Henry's been amazing and he's loved the holiday um and I wasn't entirely expecting that, so I'm really happy. So yay! And we've managed to bond as a family and spend time as a family, which has been really important. When you're a blended family, you need that. So yeah, all good, all happy. I am going to drink my apple juice, genuinely. I've had a vodka and coke tonight. I'm feeling a bit squiffy. And three, four wines. So um, I can have my apple juice and then I'm going to go and finish my book. Uh, my second book usually on holiday without without kids I would have read three by now so yeah anyway yay you've holidays one and lemma Emma look at this view Hello. oh are you filming yeah on our last day oh, yeah, on holiday so today Emma went on the high ropes and with Lewis. Lewis obviously hated that. He loved it. He was secretly pleased that Lily chickened out. Um, while the boys were in soft play, kids scared Henry. Henry pooped his pants. I had to clean out. That was really nice. Then they went and played in the water park. Um, girls didn't take their cozies, so they were a bit gutted about that. So that was fun. Then we had some pictures taken. We've had a couple of professional pictures taken here. It's just been easier too, I think. Um, look at this view. This is um, village is behind me, the holiday village. It's, it's pretty lush. <coughs> All the way down there are banana trees. Yeah, so anyway, we um, tried out the actual restaurant for lunch today, which we haven't done the whole time we have decided to go to the barbecue because we didn't want to get dressed. So we just chucked a towel around us and sat and had barbecue food. So today we actually went to the restaurant. It was okay. It was, uh, we haven't been missing anything in my opinion. Really clean, really nice, but nah, I like the way we've been doing it. Um, walked around the hotel grounds for a bit. We've got an hour to kill before we go and get dressed for the aeroplane so we thought we'd come and have a walk and I'm really glad that we did so yeah so we came on the bus in an hour and a half um, Jake's had his nap so we are hoping I'll give him a little run around in a bit and he will sleep on the bus later so, all good